I got it 18. They just make that little peep, and it seems so odd to see a big bird like that with this little tiny peep. <laughs> they all uh, land up while they, they must have split off. The others are somewhere else. They were there. They may be on the ground already. I haven't heard. You already walk right down there to that gate. Um. How are you, Mr. President? Nice to see you again. I did. I met you last year. It's good to see you again. Very nice. We were just thinking if he rode in with you, I'll walk in and then um, once the birds are away, um, Joe was thinking about putting a costume on. Okay. Congratulations on your Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, thanks. Very excited for you. Well answered. We really have to get these. No, they said one of the guys was going to come out and meet me down the road, so I think I'm just, yeah, if we just want to jump in, and I'll start, either Joe or Richard, and I'll just start going down. They said I could follow this road. Uh, I think we just passed her. She's back in there. Let's see if she's... Yeah, mostly. How have you been? Good. Good. Well, it's really nice to see you again. Said you right house. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah? You drove down, right? Yeah, I drove down, and uh, I got, they they kind of figured out um, a little ways before they got to, uh, to Buena Vista that we were going to probably come down here. Yeah, well, if you come from Zebulon, it's right here, you come right over my house. Oh, I was a nice drive. It was pretty quick. Uh, yesterday I had to drive with the bird and back and it was a good three and a half hour drive and it was all road construction and bumpy and it was okay this time? She was good, yeah, yeah. But I was I was really worried about it. Jimmy and Roslyn? You ever heard of them? Oh Roslyn, I'm sorry. I'm from New England. See we talk funny up there. Okay, I gotta go, Mark I'll see you when you get down here. And when we get out there and exit the vehicle we're not sure if you land at the door. <laughs> Oh, and we have sorry. to talk in hashtags. Yeah. We're not sure how far away the birds oh, are. Oh, okay. Well, that okay. makes good sense. Did you get a nice view? Birds come. Oh, good. Oh, the there are three. Yeah, oh, okay. I thought only. Okay, I thought I heard two planes were coming down. Well, that makes it a lot easier for them to manage the birds, and then one of those guys can help me set up the pen. Where does the pen go? I think we'll probably go over here where Joe's walking. I don't want to bang it on anything. Dan, do you want us to get out here and take a 
I recruited some volunteers. <laughs> you could uh, pull it in the truck straight in there and build it right here. We'll probably take it off. Great. Okay. Pull straight and stop when you make your. Great. Finally. <laughs> Forever. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Um, I flew right over your house. Yeah, and I took photographs everywhere. So somewhere in there, there's a one aircraft with 16 birds on it and your house in the background. So I'll send you the whole disc. You decide which one is. I'll do it. Thank you. Well, you know, Joe, I might have some wooden blocks we could just pop that wheel and put it up on a block or something to get the rear. to pick up on that end just a tiny bit. Pick up on this end? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thanks. 
Hey there. You just drop that pen. Oh, actually. Can you put my foot on Oh, this one goes in. No, no, no. Just hold, hold that down. I'll be right back. It's quite a lot of load there. Okay. Got it. Got it. I'll be right back. Just not, Coach. One or two more. Oh, like one of them left at the door already? Nope. Is that the last one? Yep. Yeah. 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 Stay calm. Now I'm looking at it. Inner outer. Uh, well, we're on the outer, so we'll just stay with that. <laughs> Got it. There it is. That's good. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Right behind you, there's some stakes here that I have dropped. We uh, put those in here and we tie a rope to them. Yeah. So would you finish that? How do you want them? Uh, just Which in goes here. In? The, long... the long end goes in. And it goes in the side that, uh, that needs to be pulled down. So you can pull it down with a rope. So this one pulls on, on, on the side that has the hook. Because when we put a rope on there, it pulls. Oh, it's, it's pulling them? Uh, yeah, one next one. Okay. That's it for now.
งเลยเพราะว You can fix them up with three feeders.
play yet. Just lift it up a little bit. Duck under it. Yeah, we can get it. Here, I'll pick this up. <laughs> We've been doing this all our life. <laughs> Dodging the barbs. When you guys leave, Richard wants to hug the tree line oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, there yeah. with the vehicle. Yeah, I know it would. Yeah. Hold on. I'll help you make it. Thanks. Everyone, all the way back. Thanks. Uh -huh. Thanks Good luck much. again. Thanks. Thank you Thanks. very much. Bye bye now. One, two, two, eight. Awesome. Yeah. You had to learn how to use it. Uh, uh, absolutely beautiful. All the sandhill cranes were were uh, getting together there, have, and so I guess it was a bird party. Yeah. Yeah. In project, really since they got down to just a few dozen birds, and we were always then at a great distance. And then when we heard that they were going to bring them down from Wisconsin to Florida, and came right by our house almost. Uh, then Rosa and I uh, decided we would try to see them each day uh, when they do come through here on the way to Florida. Is ecology one of the many matters that are close to your heart? Well, we're very active birders. We uh, do bird watching all over the world, as a matter of fact, in Africa and Latin America and Asia, uh, and of course the United States, wherever we go. But to see the whooping cranes, you know, following the ultralight airplanes and, and to hear the uh, dedicated work of the volunteers who do participate in this is really an inspiring story of, uh, of ecology at its best. Mm -hmm. uh, it must be marvelous to actually see these birds again in a place where they really haven't been seen. Well, it is. Uh, last uh, year, they only had a few, six, I think, that uh, made it. And then I think they flew back on their own, uh, which is a remarkable gift that God gave them. And this year, the biologic group, so this is a perfect day for them to land here. We haven't seen them land yet. And then they'll be going from here on down, as you know, to the game preserve in Florida to spend the winter. And then next spring, they'll fly back up to Wisconsin, uh, ostensibly, I hope, on their own. And we hear that the uh, smaller group of cranes that uh, came down last year and returned to Wisconsin are actually coming down unassisted this year. That's marvelous news, isn't it? It really is. I guess it implants on their brain, you know, what, what route to take and what uh, sights to see so that they can, I think they do fly a little bit straight line. they don't go back and forth a little bit as the ultralights do when they bring them the first trip. But it's really a remarkable you know, outdoor adventure just to witness the birds coming in and landing and, and ha having the imprint on the uh, handlers of them, never having really seen a human being, but having uh, also affixed themselves to the ultralight airplane as their flying mother but as the men who care for them, and women who care for them, uh, as their uh, parents who feed them. It's really a great, great sight. Now, uh, you and Mrs. Carter still live in planes, so you've, you've seen these things flying over? No, we don't have seen them fly over. Uh, last year they landed in Buena Vista, which is about 28 miles northwest of Plains, and this time they're landing near Sasser, Georgia, which is uh, south. But the weather's so beautiful today that they decided to skip Buena Vista. And we heard that early this morning, so we came on down further south to see them uh, make a longer leg, I think a little, maybe a little over 75 miles, which is about as far as they go in one day. Well, excellent. Well, thank you very much. It's great to see you today.